This video is going to show you how to create a new sales lead in your Shopbox account. The easiest way to create a new sales lead is to roll your mouse over this green circle right here and this drop down appears. If you move your mouse towards the end of this drop down, there is a link that is labeled new sales lead. Click that one time and it leads you to this new sales lead form. So let's start filling it out. The first field is the title, and that is the title of the sales lead. So click your mouse in the field and start typing what the title would be. In the next field, you would put the details of the sales lead. If this sales lead is qualified, then you would check this box right here. If they're not yet qualified, then you would keep this box unchecked. In the next field, you would put the company name. If the company is not in your Shopbox account yet, then you would click this blue circle right here one time, and the new company box will appear. If the company is already in your Shopbox account, then when you start typing the name of the company, the drop-down will appear, and then you can simply click their name. The next field would be the contact person for the company. If the contact person has not yet been added to your Shopbox account, you click this blue circle, and then a new contact box will appear. However, if the person is already in your Shopbox account, you simply click this drop down and then choose the person that is going to be the contact for this sales lead. The next field would be for the sales rep. Click the drop down and choose the sales rep. The next field is who the sales lead would be assigned to. Once again, this is a drop down, so click it once and then a drop down will appear. And here you can select the person that the sales lead would be assigned to. The deal value, if you know the deal value, you would include that in this field here. The next contact date that this company would be contacted would be put into this field. You can either type the date in, or you can click this calendar icon one time, and the calendar will appear. So you can simply select the date that the next contact will be on. Just click it once. If you know the expected close date, you can once again type the date in or use the calendar icon to choose the expected close date. The next field is the state of the sales lead. This is a drop down, so just click it once and the drop down will appear and select the state of the sales lead. The next field would be for the lead source. If this is a new lead source, you click this blue button right here. Then you have the opportunity to create a new lead source in this box here. If you already have the lead source within your Shopbox account, then you click the drop down and you can choose the lead source that this sales lead has come from. And the last field is the pipeline. So you would select the pipeline that this sales lead would fall under. And then when you're all done, you click the save button. And now the sales lead has been created. Please come back for more videos to learn about the sales lead processes and other ways to use Shopbox. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us through our live chat right here or visit our website at www.shopbox.com.